Hey guys and welcome back to Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. In the last part we got to a gate village and my Eevee evolved into an Espeon. And now we're going to battle this guy, Bodybuilder Dusk. Yeah, I, I'm i just going to stop trying to make sense of these character names. But he has a Tyrogue and a Grimer. Should be pretty easy for Espeon. Maybe Teddy Ursa will do something as well. So let's bite Grimer and Shadow Blitz Tyrogue and see what it does. Aw, oh, it's the first thing that isn't one hit KO'd by Espeon to bite. But Tyrogue dies in one hit though. And he has a Zubat. Yeah, that's not going to last very long either. And Grimer uses Harden. How can a Pokemon that's made of liquid harden itself? Makes no sense. Well, anyway, Espeon goes for Bite again, and Grimer goes down. Uh, this is just way too easy with Espeon. And Zubat is almost dead. And Leech Life. That's a hilarious animation when Zubat uses Leech Life. Okay, let's just tackle and lick to take it out. Since I don't want to waste PP. And Zubat goes down. Bodybuilder Dosk is defeated. Okay, let's just... Aw, oh, why won't they let... Yeah, you can cry there safely, I mean... It's not like anyone's going to see you down there. Okay, let's get back up and find more people to battle. Still don't know how to get to that... Woman with the low tad over there. Now yeah, let's just go see Egan already. Oh, he's not home, but his wife Bellu is. Yes, that's me. Yeah, that's correct. Oh man, I have to go look for him. Oh no, there he is. Okay, okay. Yeah, I already know this. Did they really... Like, they expected people to not have played Pokemon Coliseum before playing this game. Ugh. Okay, let's... You want a battle? Nope. You want a battle. Yeah, this crazy old guy wants to battle. Fun old man Claire. Right. Oddish and a Machop. Uh, at least it's better than Tyrogan Grimer. Or Wormpool, Silcoon, and Casco. So let's see. Bite on Oddish and. Ooh, 10 years to learn Metal Claw. Shadow Blitz on my job. Uh, that's good. And now Teddy Ursa. Yeah, it's a good 2 hit KO on both of them. Leer. Seriously, why do you not attack like a karate chop or something could easily defeat Teddy Ursa? And Oddish flinched. Haha. Uh -huh. Okay, let's just bite on the chop, and even though it's not very effective, it knocks it out. And now to test Teddy Ursa's new move, Metal Claw. And the Oddish goes down. I think Metal Claw might be handy in some situations. Beats Lick any day anyway. 
and it's the reverse mode again. Okay, Claire. Yes, bow to my awesome skill. It's like 700 people on YouTube bow to my awesome skill, so you can should bow to my awesome skill as well. Okay, you win a battle. Nope. Maybe someone's in that cave. Let's check it out. Oh, items. Lots of items. Super potion. And what's this? A pokeball. And who are you? Want a battle? Oh yeah, this is the move tutor lady. Uh, nothing I really need now. Thunder wave. Nope, no one can learn thunder wave. Seismic toss. Nope. Mimic. Nah, I think I'll. Think I'll st n not use any of these moves. Maybe later in the game when I get some better Pokemon. I mean, I'm not going to waste Mimic on Espeon or something. Okay, so let's find Egan down here. Yeah, that's me. Get out of the way. Yes. I won't give up. Uh, there's nothing there. Get in the cave. And it's time to battle lots and lots of trainers. Yes, ready to get started. Cool trainer, Gorps. Oh my god. Gorps. Seriously. He has a zigzagoon and a numella. Uh, this should be pretty easy. Espeon and Teddy Ursa. Teddy Ursa is still in reverse mode, so let's call him. I think we'll be able to purify Teddy Ursa when we get out of this cave. Since there's like four more battles to go. Yay, an Espeon one hit KO is Numel. Sweet. And what's tackle? Shouldn't do that much. Now nah, only three. Why do they all have such weak Pokemon? I mean, even, even my Teddy Ursa is better than those Pokemon. And Bite finishes off Zigzagoon in one shot as well. Espeon just breaks the game at this point. Nothing has any chance of defeating Espeon. Seriously. It's all because they gave your Eevee that you get at the beginning of the game they taught him Bite. Bite is a really good move to have in the beginning of the game for your Eevee if you evolve it into pretty much anything except for Flareon since Flareon downright sucks. Super Trainer Jolts. Yeah. Has a Snubble and a Corfish. Open Snubble doesn't have Intimidate. Yeah, it doesn't have Intimidate. Okay, Bite does. Knocks out Corfish in one shot. I like Corfish. Corfish is awesome. And she has a Lotad. Wait, Lotad has six legs? Since when does Lotad have six legs? Did I miss something here? I thought Lotad had like four legs. I mean, when I watched the anime, I believe Lotad had four legs for sure. Did the game designers mess up or something? Or does Lotad always have six legs? And why is that Lotad so huge? And I remember back when uh, the anime series was in Hoenn, Brock had like a Lotad. It was like the tiniest Pokemon in the entire group. That Lotad she had was freaking huge. But anyway, Snubble goes down. We get more experience points. And we still have three battles to go in this damn cave. Yes, give me my monies. Okay. 
I don't need this. Damn it. Okay, let's uh, see you guys in the next part of Pokemon XD.